I left the military knowing that I'd go back to Louisiana because there were just so many options that I could get going back. On paper, my life is great. Everything is checked off. And after so many years, I just began to wake up and recognize that something was missing. Um, quite often you hear people say, uh, I just couldn't get out of bed in the morning. I really experienced that I can't get out of bed this morning. Uh, this is around the George Floyd. This is around all of the murders, the, the Elijahs, the Bri Brianna's and I have trauma in my past in dealing with police officers and I presented with a wood to chip on my shoulder for this specific type of white male. A Travis Manning Foundation uh, staff member told me about the Spartan Leadership Program and told me that I should probably apply. So I loosely applied, not really knowing what I was getting myself into and doing some kind of research. <laughs> but I knew it had to be a good route. One of the next things that I have to do in the program is to go to Colorado for another expedition. And in that expedition, I am having to go there and be with another person who's the epitome of this cop who pulled me over. He's this white guy, very brash, very in your face. This is who I am. This is what I, what, what I do. And you're going to listen to me. And this was Tosh. Tosh represented that toxic masculinity that I absolutely detested. And I am saying to myself, I cannot. I absolutely cannot, under any circumstances, put myself in a position where this person is in charge of me, is in charge of where I'm going, and, and is in charge of my growth. There's no way I can do it. And as I'm sitting on the plane, putting my bags in the overhead, I sit in my seat and completely lose it. I am bawling as I am, as the the fight is taken off, and I realized where the trauma and all those things were, and I needed to process, I needed to deal, and put that in perspective. There was something in his body language, um, his posture that just said, hey, like, something's going on for this guy, you know, and, and it was the whole first night where we just have a social, and then afterwards talking to Camille and some of the other staff members. She's like, so what do you think? I'm like, hey, you know, so-and-so and so-and-so, and how about that Derek guy? Like, everything okay? And she's like, she gives me a smile. She said, you'll figure him out. And I think some of the better times were around the fire in, uh, in the evenings when we'd sit around and we'd talk about winds of the day. And we talk about, you know, um, some of the plans that we had. And I'd spend hours, like after everybody went to bed, talking to Tosh. And I think the general vulnerability with him bridged a huge gap. I remember it was like day two and he came up to me and just said, hey, I just want to give you a hug and apologize. And I was like, well, what's going on? He's like, hey, I've got a lot of stuff going on. I said, dude, I was not coming here. I didn't want to be around you because this is what you give off. I didn't want to be here. And a couple of people said, hey, just put your stuff away and um, just come up and be present. Give Tosh a chance and just give the whole experience a chance. He said, give me a chance. I know that. This is something that I'm working on, you know. This is, I know how I come across to people, but I need people to see a, see the other side of me, to see who I am. From that moment on, we just grew tighter and tighter and tighter. For my personal growth and for me, going on that expedition and meeting someone that I knew or that I thought I didn't want to be, have anything to do with, that I did not want to be around. Leaving that expedition, made, I am so glad that I checked myself or I saw the heart of another person. And he's one of my favorite people to this day. After graduating um, SLP, 
I began to do a lot of character does matter mentorship in the community. And I came to realize that community service and working with youth was was that magical pill that um, that kind of helped or saved the mental anguish that I was battling with. As I'm impacting the next generation and reaching out to these youth, it's actually food to my soul. Um, getting feedback from quite a few of the participants and they're like, you remind me of that brother. You remind me of, you know, my father who's gone. You know, just taking me aside and having these conversations with me, uh, it means a lot. So, you know, those are the opportunities that I'm being given. But I'm doing all of this work to soothe something inside. Through this journey, I'm so grateful to have found a path to continue my healing.